In this video, I'm going to show you how to repath multiple Revit links from a specific folder using a very simple Dynamo script. And we'll also look at how to deploy the script so it can easily be used within Dynamo Player. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, as you know, you can easily reload multiple files in one click, but you cannot reload multiple files from a specific folder in one click. Let me show you. All right, before we work on the script, I'd like to show you my current file setup. I'm working on a site model with uh, three buildings linked into it. All four models have work sharing environment into them, and these buildings are currently linked from another location. We're going to look at how to repath these links from the buildings folder. Currently, these links are loaded from this location and I'm going to unlink them just for the sake of this exercise or unload them, I should say. And now they're all unloaded. And as you can see, now they're all gone. So let's look at how to create the script to repath them from a different location. Now that we're in Dynamo, as usual, let's make sure that we're running in manual. And the very last node that we'll need, which is the first one we should place is the repath Revit instance, Revit link instance, like so. The next is something that will help us read this file path or to read files from a folder. That will be under directory. We'll need a git directory contents and of course directory from path and directory path itself. Now, these three connected will give you a reading of all the Revit files included in that folder. And at this point, we'll need to get documents for this node or this input right here. And let's type git documents and we'll need this very node from Archilab and that's what we need, link instance. That's a match. Now at this point we're ready to use this script, except uh, we need to save this in the Dynamo Player folder and we need to make sure that this node is set to input so we can actually edit the inputs in the player. And now we're ready to save it. Now, if you haven't done so already, you should save the link so it's um, placed in a folder that Dynamo Player can read. So you can go ahead and either place it in the typical folder or place it in your own custom folder. But at this point, I already have my repath links script so I can edit the inputs. And this is where I store the ABC buildings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and press play. And as you can see, all the buildings have been correctly reloaded. Let's look at the path. Under Manage Links, you can see that this is the path that we specified within the Dynamo Player. Now, of course, this uh, exercise was based on very simple files, but I was able to uh, use this uh, process for uh, more complex projects. Now, keep in mind that some of these files may have warnings and uh, errors, and uh, we'll, you just have to solve them individually but this uh, process can still save you a lot of time. Now let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.